What's going on guys? Plotter my cards in the house and today I am back with a bunch more duels with my Skull Servant deck. Just in case any of you haven't seen the last video, I just thought I'd go into the deck a little bit. I don't think I made any changes. Uh, so three Skull Servants, three King of the Skull Servants, three White Mares, three Right Prince, three White Bay Kings, uh, three The Lady in White, uh, three Unizombies, uh, three White Princesses, three Shirani, I am hope I'm saying that right, Solitaire, Two Gozukis, a Regeki, a Monster Reborn, a Foolish Burial, a Book of Life, two Mystical Space Typhoons, a Burial from the Different Dimension. We got a Hand Destruction. I got two Gravity Binds and one Shirani Stell Samsara. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with this deck, the point is to get King of the Skull Servants to enough at uh, light attack points where it can just run over your opponent's monsters and win. So you you do that by dumping as many of the monsters that count as Skull Servant or a King of the Skull Servant in the graveyard. And you want to do that by using u either Unizombie or Shirani Solitaire to destroy itself in order to summon Unizombie. Or if all else fails, you can use Gozuki. So without further ado, let's take a look at some of these duels. All right, so we started this duel. This was pretty quick, actually. So he just was using Cyber Dragons, and I guess he had a terrible hand. But he uh, plays his Cyber Dragon. Uh, I know this isn't called Cyber Dragon, but it's going to be the fact it makes a cyber dragon but i happen to get a, a foolish burial and i send white baking to the graveyard so i can add two to my hand and then discard one so then i choose to uh discard my uh right prince and right prince allows me to send two to the graveyard for my deck and then i use my right princess for my hand which uh makes this thing's life points go down 300 times the amount of stars it has and then this thing lets me send one from my hand and then one from my deck so this is overpowered and then i can use right princes effect to banish you from the graveyard to special summon king of the skull servants and then i can use right mare uh in order to special summon my banished lady in white now this is good because um that makes it so my king of the skull servants can't be attacked or can't be affected by his spells and traps so i always go for this combo and most of the time it's usually an otk not bad right next we have uh i don't remember off the top of my head what this guy was using but um I don't have the best of hands, as you can see right now, but I have a, uh, what's it called, Foolish Burial, so it's enough to pop off my combos and send my monsters in the graveyard for the time being. And my boss monster actually only has one star, so my Gravity Bind is actually a good combo with it. So then I can summon Gozuki and use this effect and send a zombie to the graveyard. I'm going to send Right Prince, which allows me to send two cards to the graveyard. That would be uh, Skull Servant and uh, Lady in White, I believe. And then I have Right Princess in case I need to use it, and then for the next turn I'll have Regeki. So... I see he's using a Neos Fusion, so a lot of those cards are weird because you summon them and then they get shuffled back into the deck. But I think Neos, Neos Fusion stops it from happening. But he couldn't attack with any of them because I played Gravity Bind, so I'm good to go. And I drew a Shinrai Solitaire, which is dope. And then I played Raigeki just to get rid of uh, his monsters. And then uh, his monster, his uh, card had a graveyard effect, which stopped his thing from being destroyed, which isn't too bad. I should still be able to do something with it, right? So I purposely, um, depends on the situation. When I add two to my hand, uh, sometimes I like to add, uh, uh, for sure, one of them will always be right prince. And depending on what it is, sometimes it'll be right princess, sometimes it'll be right mare, depending on the situation, because right mare lets me return my banished monster, which, and then send itself to the graveyard. So, and this will always boosts its attack. Uh, right princess is more defensive. And then he tries to use uh, that card, but it has no effect. No effect whatsoever. Thank you, Red Princess. Or, sorry, Lady in White. And that's a dub, too. Next. Now, this hand is really good. Anytime I draw hand destruction with this deck, it's it's more than likely always an instant W. Because the ability to send two cards to the graveyard immediately is just crazy. And Right Prince itself is it's not once per turn. So this is a Blue Eyes uh, deck, specifically Chaos Max build that this guy's using. And I'm thinking... This is going to suck because um, I believe uh, not the Chaos Max version, but the Blue Eyes Chaos Dragon can set everything to defense mode. And my King of the Skull Servants has zero defense. So if he manages to do that, then I pretty much lose, right? So And it does double piercing. So this thing does double piercing. So if he does that, then yes, I would lose for sure. So I have to be, I have to be playing very carefully around these cards. And so when he ends, um, uh, my plan is to just run it over obviously but as quickly as possible i need to kill 
I need to kill immediately. And then, so I'll use Right Princess, so everything he has uh, loses, uh, I believe, is 300 times the amount of stars. And then he'll chain with a True Light. Um, this is a decent card, but its weakness is if it's destroyed, you could destroy all all the monsters that he controls. So I'm going to try to get rid of it if I can. And then I think he just set a bingo machine. So I uh, destroy two and draw two, which uh, not only does it pop off my combos, but it gets me a Unizombie, which is something I really need. And then using, using Unizombie, I send White Baking, and then I add Right Prince, like always, and then I add a Right Mare because I'm going uh, I'm gonna to try to win as soon as possible. So... I add, uh, uh, I'm going to use it to add lady and white. And then, so if I, if I know I have to play defensively, then I would add right princess just to lower his monster's attacks. And then I can use that to destroy that and that to destroy that. And then I wasn't able to win right away. Maybe I could have if I attacked his, uh, level five, but what's the fun in that, right? So I wanted to wait a little bit. And then I went ahead and played gravity bind just to make sure that he couldn't attack. Even if he sets my things in defense mode, he wouldn't be able to attack with it. So, not bad combo. Not a bad combo at all. And he chooses to special summon his blue eyes alternative white dragon, which is a pretty good card. It uh, it definitely stops bricks in this deck. But then he destroys my boss monster, which I'm not too upset about because I have another one on my hand and he's kind of screwed for next turn, right? So then I draw Mystical Space Typhoon. To make it even better, I just go ahead and destroy that monster hoping for a direct attack but then he's going to use his effect uh he's going to chain it special summon a blue eyes which means nothing because i'm pretty sure it gets destroyed regardless yep and so now he's fieldless and now i'm going to chain my unizombie's effects and then he ash blossoms my unizombie which is fine because it only negates one of the effects and unizombie has two effects so i'm not too upset and i don't even need it because that's all i need guys <clears throat> Another dub. So this last duel, I wanted to show this one as well, just because it highlights probably the weaknesses and the holes in this deck. But it's still it's still a really good deck. But I wanted to highlight this deck. Um, so I didn't really draw anything that would send anything to the graveyard. So my best bet is to just set uh, right prints. Uh, hopefully it goes to the graveyard and then I can pop off combos from there. Or I can stop it from being destroyed and I can send right baking. Right. So and then I immediately draw Unizombie. So I'm I'm good now. That's all I needed. So um, what's it called? This goes to the graveyard, which allows me to add two and discard one. And then I discard right prints which is now going to pop off even more combos, and then I banish it to special summon my boss monster. And then on top of that, I, I just use White Prince's effect just because I can, because I'm trying to power up my monster. In retrospect, maybe I should have been a little more defensive, but I'm just trying to win as soon as possible. So my boss monster now has three grand. Sorry, now that I'm, now I'm going to tune, and since I'm tuning, I can special summon that. And my right prince is going to go to the graveyard. Its effect is going to pop off, and two more go to the graveyard. And then I'm going to use my right, uh, my right mare to special summon one, the the lady in white. And then I'm also going to send King of the Skull Servants to my bench. So that's enough to win. But he happens to have a threatening roar, so I can't do anything about that. See, lady in white. Its effect is very specific. Uh, it's unaffected by your my monsters are unaffected by spell and trap effects. But uh, that trap doesn't prevent my monsters. It just ends my battle phase, I believe. So, yeah. And then I use this effect again to banish three to special summon King of the Skull Servants. I thought that would be good, but then he used Battle Fader. So this guy's stalling for something, and I'm I'm thinking at this point maybe it's a, like, a terribly built Exodia deck. Um, but then he, he starts just banishing. Yeah, so it's confirming for me that this is an Exodia deck. And he's just summoning kaijus whenever he feels like, but why would you use a kaiju in Exodia deck? So this is why I was confused. And then I get this card will win me duels a lot. Burial from a different dimension. Targeted, put three banished monsters in your graveyard, return them, uh, sorry, and return them to the graveyard. And so at, when I use that, he immediately flips all of his stuff, and I just realized what I did wrong because this is a burn deck. And I've there's enough monsters on the field for me to take a null now. Look at this. A ceasefire, two ceasefires actually. Uh, this is terrible. So I take three grand, then another 16, then another 14, then another three grand. Yeah. So that was an L, guys. 
but it's okay because it shows you what you're missing out and what you need to look out for sometimes. This was the first burn deck I've ever fought in this, in this, uh, and sorry, in Master Duel. Not too bad though. Uh, this deck honestly is giving me more W's than it has been L's. Probably like, I would say 70 to 80 percent of the time I am winning. Uh, a lot of times someone will play. The biggest weaknesses I would say is if someone has something that just negates outright, like. That would be a big problem for this deck because if my boss monster's effect gets negated, then essentially it has zero attack, and that's an L for me, right? Um, but there are ways around that. Like if it's a spell card that does it, then you can you know, mystical space typhoon in it, which I do have in the deck. Um, and if it's a monster's effect, then I guess you can use dark ruler no more, and that would help. And I'm working on getting that in this deck as well. But anyway, guys, thank you for sitting through my video. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. And oh my goodness, look at the time. It's time to do, 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 do.